Hi guys, this is video four. Um, the last video was about mushrooms and uh, I tell you it was so delicious and so much we have to we had to uh, give away the rest to other people because uh, it was just too many mushrooms for just four people. Yeah, today will be a metal detecting video uh, again and um, as you can see I'm on pasture land. Um, the reason for that is uh, that I um, was mistaken about the state of my field I'm doing at the moment. Uh, it's too ozy, it, it was raining uh, for two days and um, yeah, I was dragging earth with me all the time which was not nice. So I give this field a try here, it's part of my permitted land and um, yeah, I'm not expecting too much today but uh, we'll see, just follow me. First find of today. A button. Nothing on it. But the shank is intact. Yeah, I, I, I'm getting not very much signals here. Took a few trash items. But this uh, button actually is like... Uh, gave me some hope, as you... If you want. <laughs> yeah, moving on. Yeah, the next find is a wound badge um, from uh, World War II. Uh, I found a few of these. Um, yeah, the needle is still intact, um, but um, I think uh, the material is uh, aluminium, and uh, yeah, it's grotty, you know. You can see the swords going through here and the swastika on the helmet. Yeah. Quite common find. Oh, guys, I think I found silver. Could you be silver? See the edge here? It's either an, an uh, aluminium coin from the 20s or hopefully silver. Let me check. And it's silver. It's silver. Wow. Wow. Wasn't expecting this on this field. Look at it. 1909. This seems to be a quite common date for these silver coins. Oh, look at the German eagle. Beautiful, perfect neck. And look at the state of it, how it popped up out of, of the ground. Beautiful. Look at the depth of this hole here. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, 20, 25 centimeters. And look what I found. Oh. Beautiful buckle. Look at this beauty. Wow. I love this uh, tribal design. Haven't got a clue what it could be, but um, yeah, here are remains of like the iron uh, movable parts, like the needle, and um, yeah, that um, tells me that it can't be that old. But who knows? I will present it to my ecologist, so now it came off, so I keep both, but look at it, that's what it's all about. Wow, look at this thin flimsy coin here. Um, can't uh, 
offer you details at the moment. Show you a close up later. But I'm uh, pretty impressed about uh, the depth I got with this small coin here. Yeah. Very nice. The soil is uh, like moist and uh, that helps um, of course to gain more depth but still very impressing. Just found a bottle, small bottle. I picked it up because of the metal bottle top you know and it looks uh, like um, yeah like a small vaccine bottle you know or it's too large for vaccine but you know like for some medical treatment I don't know not old yeah a lot of people take their dogs out here see the pass and uh, that's why I starting to find modern money what do we what have we got here it's uh, 20 cents and in a, another five cents it's uh, 25 cents spendable <laughs> Yeah, I found um, five pfennig, five pfennig from uh, either the 1800s um, or the early 1900s on the same path uh, as the modern coins. Look at the depth of this hole. Yeah, 30 centimeters. And uh, what did I find? A lead bag seal. Every time I find uh, a bag seal, I have to think about uh, Peace Heavens uh, and his uh, bail seal project. Yeah. So this is my contribution, <laughs> but it's no bail seal, can't even make out any details on it. Moving on. Yet another spendy, must have been dropped yesterday, look, <laughs> very good. Yeah, I will pay my lunch later with this, perfect. More or less a surface find, two more spendies. Yeah, all you need is to yeah, yeah, push away the grass a bit. And here they are, <laughs> one euro fifty. So altogether we have, let me calculate, uh, it's two euro three, yeah, uh, three seventy five, not bad, not bad. Now we're going back in time a bit, money-wise. Found uh, eine Mark, one Mark, 1977. German Eagle. Yeah. Another one Mark, this time from, let me check. 1991 Not bad This was good money by that time It's amazing <laughs> What did they do here? Another mark one mark this time um, 1990 Three marks so far, and they keep coming. First, I thought um, that's the best conditioned uh, musket ball I've ever found, but then I realized that uh, it's a fishing weight. See the hole here, and uh, 
it's uh, logical because as you can see here's a stream a bit of a stream and uh, yeah all the money I found of course uh, is from fishermen so I hope uh, I find some more money another one mark piece from uh, 1972 Here you have my roundup, um, a few spendies here, all together 375, which is nice because uh, I can eat something now. <laughs> and um, here you have uh, one marks, four all together. Um, we have uh, like um, 1800s money, uh, Pfennige five pfennig and this one i only uh, i can only recognize the german eagle but it has to be something like uh, e either a five pfennig or one pfennig we have a button here we have uh, the world war ii wound badge we have a lead back seal we have a very nice buckle and the fishing weight of course we have this belter here look at this early 1900s one mark 1909 didn't expect to find something like that here but uh, yeah that's what this hobby is all about you never know Here's part of the trash I found today. Um, coke, very nasty stuff. Had lots of that uh, here on this uh, pasture uh, land. And um, you know, I took this for an example, you know, I left the other ones behind. Of course, you all know these here. They give very good signals. Uh, cartridge, shotgun cartridges, um, pieces of lead, yeah, that's the trash of today. Well, that's it for today. I had a few nice hours on the pasture land, you know, um, found some decent things, you know, like the silver coin or the buckle. Um, I wasn't expecting that because, as I said in the beginning, I wanted to go on my plowed field but uh, due to heavy rain uh, in the past two days uh, it, I couldn't do it because it was too muddy there so without any expectations I went there and uh, yeah it paid out silver coin what will you expect you know so um, but uh, my next uh, metal detecting video will hopefully be on my plowed uh, land again and um, yeah i'm also planning a video about a very nice castle which is nearby of the place i live and there's a very nice medieval market going on and i want to show it to you so um, all the best to you happy hunting and bye bye